Good morning. Had an unfortunate night last night, so my week started off, unfortunately, with having to wear this. Um, so I won't go into much detail. I'm sure you can figure it out. It has to do with this one and me being a Raiders fan. So my wife won. We had a little bit. So today I'm going to sport a star, and we'll let you fill in the rest of the blanks and leave it at that. But today, I'm always thinking, um, you know, ways to communicate really what I'm doing and really what I'm passionate about and and really where I could provide the most value. And I've been thinking a lot lately just about front stages in life, front stages, uh, you know, from a personal perspective. So I'm able to reach more people that do different things and not only help them understand how they can better communicate market brand their business but also how you know they can improve as thought leaders um, and continue to grow or continue to seek to grow in life and I don't want to go off on a tangent on this but I wanted to start with the NFL teams because I think it's something that everybody identifies with it's something that they could be passionate about um, and they have their purpose or the reason or why to follow that fan base and you know I'm talking to my daughter this morning about you know, really um, avoiding conforming to, you know, school standards or society or what clicks and stuff at school. And I know I'm a little bit, you know, jumbled here at the beginning, but just bear with me here. And what she's, she's really trying to understand and most kids are trying to understand is where they fit in, where they're accepted and, and why. You know, a lot of kids, um, you know, you have to understand the things that they're faced with on a daily basis where, you know, their parents, the situation at home, they have a stage there. They go to school, maybe on the bus, there's a different stage there. They're after school in sports. They're going to church. You know, they probably wear a different face or enact a certain stage there. And and as a, as a human race, I think this is something that we all really invest an awful lot of time in, you know, just like our sports teams. You know, we, we invest time, money. Um, we're passionate. We paint our faces, go to the games, um, you know, get angry when we lose, maybe drink ourselves into the bed. Um, but whatever the case may be, we invest time in that certain identity. And I was talking to my daughter this morning about, you know, really tying this all together and understanding that, yes, it's easy easier or it maybe seems right for you to conform or act a certain way around a certain group of people in order to be accepted um, it may seem right to maybe behave around a certain uh, person or a certain group of people because you don't want them to think you're a certain way but what my wife and i were talking about this morning and what i was actually talking about with the men's group i meet with this earlier today is it's not fulfilling when you feel like you have to act a certain way around a certain group of people. It's, it creates a sense of shame and guilt when you're not being who you truly are, where you feel like you have to do certain things or be something that you're not comfortable being in order just to be viewed a certain way or, or maybe pay or invest in a certain perception. You know, and that, that really is something that I'm passionate about, I think can be transitioned into the marketing and branding realm, which I'll get into in a second. But what a lot of people don't understand is the time that you invest in these different personalities or these different front stages aren't actually giving you any traction. They're not actually getting you anywhere. Number one, personally, you don't feel as fulfilled. You don't feel like you're getting anywhere. You don't... Um, you know it's not who you really are, but number two, I think people, other people see that. I think other people understand, hey, you know, this guy's consistent here. Um, this gal, um, I heard her, she has a different type of pitch, you know, when she's around her friends um, or maybe drinking than she does when she's in, in the workplace. And, and not that you should care what other people think that much, but you should have integrity to understand that it's actually hurting you and hurting relationships and hurting the success of your business brand, sustainability, your ability to scale, draw new people in and establish a culture that people buy into um, because you're not being consistent there. And I think as people, um, 
you know, we get sucked into this, right? You know, me, uh, I know I, I go to church and I think for a long time growing up, you know, I thought I had to be a certain person to be accepted in the church. And when I wasn't, because it was, I wasn't genuine, I didn't understand that. And now as, as you know, I'm maturing and growing older and developing my business, it's, it's, it's a lot more clear that you have to be um, fully invested. Your heart has to be in it. You have to have a purpose of passion there and you have to stick to it. You have to be consistent. If you want people to take you seriously, if you want that respect, you can't buy it, you can't earn it, you can't force it. And now transitioning this really to my point with online and marketing, you can't force other people to conform or buy into you as a business, as a brand. You know, one thing that really, you know, I don't understand or I guess, you know, really um, is irritating to me is this whole Instagram stuff uh, or even Twitter, I guess, where people will follow you. And they just expect you to follow them, follow them back. They'll like a whole bunch of your posts. They'll comment on your stuff um, with maybe something that doesn't even make sense. And, I, you know, I don't get angry and, you know, I don't get my feelings hurt because maybe people aren't really accepting me for the message that I'm saying. But at the same time, why are they doing it? You know, it's they're putting on this front stage that they care, what, but the interaction, it's not genuine. Um, you know, you're, they're investing, just like I said before, like you're investing in your team, you're investing in that identity, but you're not actually being a part of or um, fully immersing yourself in that identity. You're, it's, it's phony. It's fake. And, you know, it's not going to be fulfilling. You can get all the likes, the follows in the world. People may follow you back, but it's not for what you're doing. It's because you're spending all this time manipulating the system, right? Uh, number two, a lot of people don't understand is a lot of people catch on to this. A lot of people see what you're doing and some people call you out. Some people um, put you on blast. You know, I thought about doing that to some guys because I get about 10 to 20 follows a day on, on Instagram for pre-focus. And, you know, I feel like, you know, screenshot these, these guys, like I don't notice that they, they follow me and then, you know, an hour later they unfollow me when they see maybe that I don't follow them or maybe I'm just not on Instagram all day. And, you know, people understand that. And, and when is it going to be worth the perception of your business um, or your personality or you as a person, as a man, as a woman, um, thought leader, um, you know, even a, a personal brand, if that's what you're trying to grow or product, um, you know, how, why aren't you considering monetizing or understanding that perception of, it's phony. It's cheesy. They, they're not in tune with the customer. They don't understand um, that the customer wants to be valued, right? The customer wants um, to have or follow people that provide them with value. Um, when you're kind of cutting corners there, you're kind of being ingenuine with the stuff, you know, you're ruining that perception. How do you sustain? How do you scale that way? Um, you may get a lot of followers by people that want followers too, right? That are online all day for acceptance, right? Because just like my daughter might be invested in all these personalities throughout the day, a lot of people are invested in their personalities online and they feed that ego. And they're not necessarily buying into your business or brand, they just want you to like, follow, share, comment on their stuff too. And it's just this whole cycle of nonsense that, you know, I, f I feel like with pre-focus, I could help businesses avoid. I think they get sold on these things, these plans or these marketing schematics that um, it, they're phony, they don't work, they're temporary, right? You can't sustain them. And, and most importantly, it, it hinders the perception of their business, their brand. And they don't understand it because they're being sold on it. Um, but they have to buy in, inevitably buy into the identity of their business. What's their competence? What's their purpose? You know, it's another thing. I talked about this morning in my men's group, you know, what are you meant to do? Not, not what do you want to do? What do you want people to see you as? How do you want to position yourself? And what do you want to be, right? You have to really tap into what you're good at, what your skill is, what your, um, um, I don't like to use value, but, uh, you know, your talent. What are you really truly blessed with? How do you harness that? How do you position it? How do you put it into a service or product and get people to buy into it? Because otherwise you're going to continue with these phony tactics and trying to, persuade or manipulate people into buying what you want to be. But what is your purpose? You know, what is your identity? 
when you do figure that out, how are you communicating that identity and positioning in a way that gets people to buy into you? You know, you can't just write blogs. You can't just do cute infographics and designs and have an awesome website or do really gnarly videos, right? You have to, you have to harness, you have to be able to communicate in a more, in, in the most effective way, um, you know, that purpose, that passion, that identity, that ability, that competence. And, you know, that's, that's my purpose. That's what I'm trying to position here with my company after doing so many different things in marketing is helping companies and people understand what this means and what this can do for their business. You don't have to spend $20,000 a month on advertising um, to get a certain amount of views, likes, shares, and follows. It might get you the exposure that you need, but what is your purpose? What are you trying to accomplish? When you're able to sustain that and communicate that, Effectively, not only effectively, but consistently, that's when people really truly buy into you. And they might not always like your stuff, but they're going to follow it because it's valuable to them. It's consistent and it's trustworthy. You know, you're not just trying to grab, do a bunch of reach and grab stuff. You're actually being genuine with what you're doing and you want to help people and you have something that's valuable, worth, um, you know, it's worthwhile for them to invest in. So, I want to jump on this morning because, you know, I had that cool conversation with my daughter this morning. You know, it may seem the right thing to do to invest in these front stages so you could be temporarily accepted, right? So that you could maybe be valued in the moments so that people may look up to you. But if my daughters or my kids and if I, my wife, and the people I come in contact with, if, if um, you know, you truly want to be um you know, valued, not not recognized, but valued for what you're doing, then you have to understand that you have to be you. You have to be genuine. Your heart has to be in it, you know, just like Christianity, right? You can go through the motions. You can volunteer your time. You can donate money. You can go to the food bank and all that stuff and be seen for this thing. But if you're not genuinely uh, invested in that and and able to humble yourself and you're in it for the right reasons. It doesn't mean anything because you're always chasing that acceptance. You're always chasing that position, a position in the market, that position as a person, that position in the church, um, a position in the workplace. Um, and you know, the fake it till you make it thing. It really rubbed me wrong with enterprise rent a car, which is why I ended up being my demise. But, um, it's not fulfilling guys. And it's something that, you know, I'm passionate about. It's my message and hopefully it's, I can include it in my testimony somehow that, um, you know, I genuinely want people to see this because once you're really truly invested in that, people see that. And that acceptance, that leadership, those leadership positions that you want to be in so bad that you crave, they'll come um, by avoiding going through the motions. Be consistent. So hopefully this inspires somebody today. I don't know. Um, I thought about put posting on my business page, but at the end of the day, you know, I love a lot of you guys. Some of you in here I haven't seen for a while. Just looking at this list here, um, you know, and I want to be able to find my purpose. I want to be able to find, you know, what I can do. And, you know, with, with branding and marketing strategy, it's something that um, I can tie into because it's what my experience is in and, and God's blessed me with being creative and being able to come up with ideas, but also helping people be people, be better people, right? If we're not truly invested in that, if we're not, we want to tell people how bad people they are all the time or what, how their opinion's stupid all the time, you know, what, what good is that doing? It's, it's selfish for selfish gain. You're doing that for the wrong reasons. And once you're able to reach, understand, um, invest in people, invest in their well-being and not just for your personal gain you know that's where it's at that's what i'm realizing you know going on a year with what i've been doing is i've had my ups and downs i've had my failures i've had you know my tactics um you know my sales scripts and all this stuff but it really comes down to people trusting what i'm doing and, and people trusting that i'm invested in their business and the well-being of their customers and at the end of the day that's all that matters so be invested in people this week guys uh, holiday season and a lot of your kids are probably saying a, a lot of things about what they want. Um, it's our job as parents, though, to let them understand what they have and what they can bless other people with. And, and that's understanding your identity and understanding there's only one you. And there's, there's one true talent that you have. So thanks for tuning in with me today, a couple of you, um, as I 
still figure out my journey where my path's going to be and um, you know let me know if I can ever be of any encouragement or support to yours. Merry Christmas. Oh man. Need to get some more sleep.